So a couple of issues have come up and it, it sparked a little interest in me on how to solve these this, this issue. An uh, example is here in uh, Orbex, uh, L-I-E-O-L-E-L-S, runway 5 not working, uh, but yet runway 23 works correctly. Uh, and then again down here, K-A-C-K, runway 6, I-L-S not working, yet runway uh, 24 works works fine. So I was wondering, uh, and I noticed this on the CAC too, I, I tried to the approach runway 6 with uh, actually uh, version 4.5, and I had issues, uh, but 24 also worked fine. So I'm going to see if I can solve the issue with, with the KCK. I think you can do that with the Lord of Landing uh, software. So uh, let's. I'm going to continue that and give that a try. See what happens. Okay, uh, looking at uh, runway six uh, on Navigraph charts, uh, we can see that the uh, the locator frequency is 109.1. All right, uh, the approach is 0 0.61, and the altitude is, should be set for 1700. 061, 109 PS1, and 1700. So we'll set those in and we'll do uh, Lord of Landing uh, and see if we can get into runway 6. Okay, here's something that's uh, Interesting, this says the uh, frequency is 109.15 and uh, Navigraph uh, said it's supposed to be 109.10, so maybe that's the issue. Uh, let's try it 109-10 and then try uh, another approach at 109.15. Okay, so I'm going to pause this, pause it, and initiate the uh, load of landing on my thing. It's uh, Control Shift A. And this will take us 12 meters from, uh, not, not meters, nautical miles, excuse me. This will take us 12 nautical miles uh, from the airport. Uh, so we should be good for an ILS approach these settings. Okay, so uh, let's look on uh, little nav map the little nav map has a 109.102 uh, same as the navigraph Uh, let me check on uh, Make Runway, see what they got.
Well, make run rate has 109.15. So there's a discrepancy in, in what the actual frequency is. Anyhow, this approach is going to be made with 109.10. See if that works. We'll turn on our heading and our altitude and our autopilot. And now on, oh, I got to put a undo pause. And also, I got to put flaps up. I don't have my flaps up. Okay, we're trying to get down to 1700. Okay. Okay, we're at 1700. Uh, and it looks good right now, so we'll turn on nav approach. And immediately it's turning the wrong way on uh, the, the direction. Okay, uh, so now we're going to re reset the uh, the uh, load of landing. So we're unpoisoning it uh, with the 109.15. Add the uh, autopilot on the heading. Uh, on the altitude set for 1700. Uh, of course, we're going to start 12 miles uh, from the airport. We'll probably be at 3800, so we'll have to drop down. Okay, we're at around 1700. Uh, we'll click on uh, nav. See what happens. So it didn't do an about face, which it was doing before when I had it at 109 parent 10. So that's a good, good sign. And let's uh, let's hit the approach. Uh, so far, so good. I think it might be a little bit off there. See if it's going to turn back. Oh, I seem to be turning back, so that's good. And it looks like the altitude starting to decrease, which means they probably hooked up to the glide path very nicely. So apparently that uh, point zero. Uh, five difference in the frequency makes a big effect. Uh, so it, regardless of what it says on the navigraph uh, and the uh, little nav map, the frequency for runway 6 at KHZK Nantucket is uh, 109.15, not 109.10. The uh, opposite runway is 109.10, and uh, we've shown that that works. The the, uh, the author of the, the the issue said that that worked, and I I've checked it myself, and it does work with the 109.10. But uh, when you go in when you go in into runway six, you need 109.15. So I hope uh, this is help you helpful. Uh, Until the next time, we'll see you. Bye-bye.